Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress data and request security. In this video session, guys, we will discuss about the nonces and we will see that how can we submit our form with the nonces value and verify that nonce in our form submission. And this is our part 6. And also guys, for the documentation purpose, you can prefer these links where you can actually find about the security and this is one of the way to protect our data okay and these are actually the functions we are going to use in this video session and also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of wordpress data and request security to get the clear concept about this video session so basically guys the first question that comes in our mind that is what is nonsense in wordpress so just move to next slide and now let's understand about the concept of wordpress nonce when creating a WordPress theme or plugin, Ajax is often used in order to enhance the user experience. In order to ensure security and protect your site against several types of attacks including CSRF means cross-site request forgery. WordPress provides security tokens that is called nonces. So basically guys, WordPress nonces are the WordPress tokens which actually provide it to each of the form we can apply to protect our data or types from types of attack including CSRF. Okay. This is the guys codex URL of WordPress official website. Here you can find about the deep concept about WordPress nonces. Okay, so I have taken some of the definition section from that URL that is according to codex means according to this documentation URL, a nonce is a number used once. A nonce means a number used once to help protect URLs and forms from some certain types of misuse, malicious and otherwise. Okay, so basically guys, nonces are some tokens which actually we can pass from our form to protect our security and data. So how can we use nonces in WordPress? First of all, WordPress can create nonces for them to be submitted via form or another action. By the help of guys, this field actually WordPress creates a nonce value, okay, a token which actually submitted via form or other actions. And on the other hand, it can verify the nonce passed in a form or an action is valid before accepting the associated data. Because if this token, if the generated nonce value of WordPress passed with the form, to the server then by the help of chase check ajax referrer and wp verify nonce functions these function checks that actually nonce value is valid or not so if if the nonce value is valid then the associated data will be submitted otherwise it gives some error like bad request so let's see all these concepts in action so first of all just go to editor and this is the plugin guys that we have downloaded from this github repository Okay, so now just go to editor and now we are going to pass our nonce value. So one go to administrator panel, just click on next plugin and as add student page. So this is the simple form that we have made. Okay, so basically what we are going to do, we are going to attach our nonce value with this form and now we are going to pass this form to our server and check that the WordPress has created the nonce value is valid or not if it is valid that if we will accept the associated data otherwise a bad request error will come from the server side okay so just back to editor and now this is the guys wp nonce field is the wordpress function which basically responsible to create the wordpress nonce values so if you go to the documentation section of wp nonce field here is that you can find the several deep concept about that function okay so how can we use that so just copy this function name in this function name we are going to pass some of the parameters and all the parameters are not mandatory because as you can see that these all parameters are actually optional okay so just copy this function name go to editor and now go to add student page okay this is the form where add student form actually appears okay this is the form and this form actually came from add student page okay so just scroll down and this is the form that we have made as you can see so now we are going to attach that function inside this form to generate the nonce value. Okay, so let's say PHP tag echo and WP nonce field. So basically we are going to pass some of the parameters inside this WP nonce field. After adding this actually function with this form guys, it generates two lines of code. Okay, so just save this file, go to browser and refresh that page. Once we refresh, with inspecting this form we can see that the two lines of code now added with our form that is input type hidden wp nonce and this is the token this is the token csrf token as you can see okay and this is the referrer it has generated okay 
so by the help of this code actually guys we can submit this form with this data okay so just go to server and now let's make some name in that so let's say that frm or let's say student nonce okay this is the unique name that we have given for this nonce field so once we assign this name just go and refresh that page and as you can see that this is and now guys as we can see that the name didn't appear okay so let me check that and before that guys we can actually see that these values are appearing two times okay so just go and remove this echo from here and now once we save just refresh that page and now as we can see that these values are appearing only for one time and for the name section guys if you go to the documentation then first parameter actually we have passed is the action okay so for the name section we are going to pass in the second parameter so just back to editor and let's say that first of all let's rename let's say student action name okay and in the second parameter let's say student name nonce okay so if we save go to browser refresh that page once we refresh we can see that this is the name that we have assigned this is the nonce name that we have assigned okay so first parameter it actually takes as the action name and the second is the nonce name okay so by the help of this name actually we can verify this token from our server side so just back to editor and now we are going to verify this nonce from the server side okay so this is the action name just make copy of that before copying that just go to slides and let me copy this check ajax referrer this function is responsible to check our nonce from the server side okay so just copy that and now in the above section as in the top as we can see that this is the form submission code okay we are we are submitting the form so let's check that first so if checks the ajax referrer and now we have to pass the action name inside this function okay so just scroll down and let's say that this is the action name that we have given to this nonce field okay and also just remove that because this is an optional parameter okay so just copy the name of your nonce field go up and now let's say inside this function pass that action name this is the action name okay so let's say that echo status equal to equal to 1 okay and now if check ajax referrer is not valid is something called echo status equal to 0 okay and finally let's say die but this ajax referrer guys this is the function which checks that if the token is valid with this action name then it goes to this block but in case of if suppose token is invalid then it does not go inside this block it actually gives you the value something called minus one and minus one refers that this is a bad request okay so if you save this file go to browser refresh that page and now if you are going to submit this form without changing any of the value of this nonce field okay just click on that scroll down and let's say that enter name something called Sanjay it should be something called 30 and now let's say enter email sanjay at gmail.com click on submit and now as we can see that status equal to 1 refers that the ajax request or the form submission request that we have made is successfully valid sorry guys this is not the ajax request this is the form request okay form submission request so now while form submission the token actually valid that's why we are getting the status equal to 1 so what will happen if we misuse the token that actually WordPress has provided and now as we can see that this is the token okay so let's now let's re reassign some values to this token and now we have actually misused or changed the value of this token so just clicking on that click on submit it returns the minus one value because the request is invalid so this is the first way guys to check that our ajax sorry form submission request is valid or not okay so just back to editor first what we have to do we have to actually create a nonce field inside our form by using WP nonce field we have to game action name to that function okay it will create two lines of code as we have seen inside this form just refresh that page it will create two lines of code a uh, nonce field as well as a refer it will create okay as we can see and now why actually how can we validate this value to our form submission request whilst from server side okay so for that just go up and inside your form submission code 
just use called check ajax refer inside this function you have to pass the action name of the nonce field and then this function will check your nonce value okay so if we copy this just get rid of this if else block just paste it here and now let's say echo i am now valid okay so this is the simple statement that we have written so once this nonce value is valid if this nonce value is valid then this statement will be printed otherwise it does not go underneath of these statements okay so if you save this file again go to browser refresh that page just click on submit and now as we can see that this request actually valid so what will happen if we change the value of our token just change it something like that and click on submit it returns value of minus one for the bad request so basically guys this is the first way to protect our request okay so just back to go to editor and now we are going to use some function something called wp verify nonce this is the alternative function this is the another function to use and to validate our nonce field and this is the first one this is the second one according to our use we can prefer any of one okay so just i'm going to use wp verify nonce we are going to see th this function in action so just back to editor and now let's comment out these functions first Okay, so let's say that if WP verify nonce, this function will receive some of the parameters from us. First, the post data actually the token is coming from. Okay, so if we go back, refresh this page, so actually the token is coming in the field something called WP nonce. Okay, so let me give some meaningful name to this token value. Okay, so just down and let's say I'm going to give some name, let's like say student name nonce okay so we have assigned this name just copy this name and once we refresh this page just we inspect and now as we can see this is the name section that we have assigned okay so this is the first parameter that we have to pass actually inside this function called wp verify nonce okay so let me check that this is the value okay so now this is the actually coming into the post data okay so this let's say post and the value actually we are receiving inside this name field okay and in the second parameter guys we have to pass the action name of our nonce field and the action name that we have given something called student action name so just make copy of that go up and paste inside this double quotes okay so let, let me make if else block let's say echo nonce value is is valid okay and else let's say that echo invalid request okay and die again so just save this file go to browser and refresh that page once we refresh just I'm clicking without any changing or any updating value of this nonce field so let's fill some values called Sanjay Kumar AG something called 23 email is something called Gmail and just click on submit button and now as we can see that nonce value is submit because nonce value is valid because this function returns the true value we actually pass this value to this action name and these all characters are these all attributes from our nonce field and our request is successfully valid so what will happen if we update or change the nonce value so just inspect that and also let's inspect the nonce value let's add some characters and now if we click on submit button as we can see that invalid request because a nonce value is not valid without WP non verify nonce function so this function returns the true value for the valid request this is not only for the changing the value of the nonce if we va means change the name of also attribute just inspect that and if you scroll down this is the name section okay so if we also update let's say update this is the name section of nonce field that we have updated so once we make a request this WP verify nonce function also returns the false value because it does not actually match with this name attribute okay so just click on that and as we can see that invalid request so basically guys this is the video sessions where actually we have discussed about about the WordPress nonces and these are these are the functions that we have actually seen in our action okay first of all to create the nonce field to generate the nonce field or the two lines of code generated by this WP nonce field okay and these are the functions which basically checks our nonce value to our server side 
so according to use according to syntax you can prefer into your code okay guys so i think i have made much more clear concept about the form submission with the nonce value so now next video session guys we will see the same concept with our ajax request because in this video sessions we haven't seen about the ajax request this is the direct form submission okay on clicking on this submit button we are going to submit this form so this all actions we have seen so in the next video we will see that once we click the form will be submitted by our ajax request and the response of the server will say that the request is valid or not okay so this we will see in our next video session so i think guys if you have any query in this video session then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day